So you are a medical student who is doing the preclinical subjects either because you are in the preclinical years or you are studying for an exam like the next NEET PG, USMLE, PLAB or anything else. You need to have a good basics on your preclinical subjects. You have two approaches for this. Study it subject wise or study it system wise. In this video, I will tell you why you should ditch the classic subject wise studying method of the preclinical subjects and move on to this new approach. Also in the end, I will share with you a detailed PDF which will help you structure your study plan with this approach. Hey there, I am Subhav Ramnani, the guy who is mad about medicine just like you. If you are new here, then make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below and also follow me on Instagram where I post some amazing medical content, some interesting quizzes and exciting challenges and giveaways. You can find the links to this and everything else mentioned in this video down in the description box below. So let's go. So let me first tell you what I mean by the two approaches. Number one, the subject wise approach. So you can tackle these subjects in a subject wise manner. Let's say anatomy, then physiology, then pathology, then pharmacology, you have biochemistry, microbiology, immunology. So you do these subjects in a subject wise manner. You complete anatomy, move on to physiology and so on and so forth. The second way is to do a system wise approach. What I mean by that is you divide these into a few systems like pulmonology, cardiology, neurology, etc and etc. So let's go through the best study approach ever you can use to tackle preclinical subjects. So a system wise approach is what you are eventually going to do when you start to study clinical subjects like internal medicine. Medicine is a vast topic and it makes sense to divide it into different systems so you can integrate your knowledge and understand the material better. Imagine doing all the diagnosis of the diseases first and then only moving to their treatments. That would make no sense in your mind. Same way, preclinical subjects can also be approached like this. Instead of studying the whole human anatomy and then physiology and then only moving to pathology and pharmacology, it will make more sense to do these system wise. But being a preclinical student, you don't have adequate knowledge to study a system wise approach. What should you do? The idea here is to make a plan which includes both a subject wise and a system wise approach. Let me go through it with you. First you study the very basic subjects which will be biochemistry, general pharmacology which has your pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, general pathology which will make you learn about inflammation and all the general terms of pathology and pathophysiology then microbiology with antimicrobial drugs along with it and then the last immunology after this you will have a solid basic knowledge you need to understand the system wise approach but how to divide the systems and how to study it you can divide it into 10 different systems so I'll give it to you cardiology, endocrinology, gastrointestinal system, hematology and oncology, musculoskeletal and dermatology, neurology and special senses which includes eyes and ears, psychiatry, renal, reproductive and respiratory system. So these will be the 10 different systems you'll study. How will you study this? So for example, you decide to study cardiology. You will do the subjects under cardiology in this order. First you do the cardiac embryology and anatomy, then move on to cardiac physiology. This will make you understand the normal functioning of the cardiac system. Being done with this, you will move on to cardiac pathology and then finally cardiac pharmacology. This will be the basic structure inside every system. This will help you integrate and connect your knowledge of anatomy and physiology with the pathology and pharmacology and you will be able to understand it better. This will also help you answer clinical questions which are going to be the norm for the next exam coming soon in India. And believe me, if you study this way, you will be able to answer many internal medicine questions before even entering your clinical years. 
you will be at a great advantage when you will start to study medicine as most of the topics will seem to be a revision for you also a few suggestions try to group the systems which are related to each other for example study the respiratory cardiology and the renal system in a row one by one because these are interconnected and like don't start reproductive system before doing endocrinology as they are related don't worry as i'll have a full plan out for you i'll share with you a pdf which will have a full structure on how you can apply this approach to your study plan you can find it linked below and also on my instagram in the highlights section now go ahead and smash those pre clinical subjects and ace your exams and also make these pre clinical subjects more interesting If you gained anything from this video then don't forget to give it a like and if you absolutely loved it then do click on that subscribe button and as always stay healthy stay safe and stay mad but just about medicine